Hello everybody, Aaron from Victory Glass. Today we'd like to show you a new product that we've developed to make your classic Seaberg jukebox even more reliable. This is our new electronic record cutoff trip switch. We have two models available, one for pin bank models B, C, G, W, R, and J, and one for Tormat models V200 through Electra. The new trip switch replaces the original mechanical micro switch and bias spring which can be a bit finicky to adjust and keep consistent. Furthermore, with newer, lighter tracking needles, having enough tracking force to overcome the mechanical trip switch has gotten even more difficult. Let's go ahead and show you how it works. So to start, we'd like to show you how the original cancel micro switch operated. Uh, this is the micro switch down here, this black rectangular device. And you'll notice behind the switch is a spring mounted to an arm. This is known as the bias spring. And the bias spring's purpose is to assist uh, the micro switch uh, with closing all of the way uh, upon completion of the record. So what was going on is uh, there wasn't enough pull from the grooves of the record to overcome the, uh, the plunger on the micro switch. So Seberg added this little bias spring here to assist with that and it's kind of a balancing act because um, as soon as the record has finished playing and the uh, tone arm resets back, this bracket, uh, the purpose of this little bracket that's adjustable is to push the plunger back and kind of reset the micro switch. So it has to kind of overcome the bias spring in the opposite direction. So you can see it's kind of a balancing act. So we'll go ahead and punch a selection here and show you how this how this worked originally. Okay, so we're playing a selection, the tone arm has landed on the record, and you'll see it starts moving slowly. So we'll go ahead and jump ahead, push the tone arm to the end of the record here. So you'll see that it's getting closer to the end groove, and there it is. It just barely pushed it, and you'll see on the way back how this bracket helped push this arm back to help reset the bias spring. So it worked. It's a little bit finicky sometimes and it can be inconsistent as the micro switches fail or where uh, the contact points can change. And sometimes getting this balance point is right. Um, so that can be a little bit of a challenge and, and it can make it kind of uh, inconsistent sometimes. So now let's go ahead and go through the process to install the new electronics trip switch. We'll start by simply clipping the wires off of the old mechanical micro switch. Put those aside. And then we'll begin by removing the reset arm from the... Next we'll remove the bias spring bracket. We'll start by loosening the adjustment screw, lifting the arm up out of the way so we can get at both of the screws and remove the two screws holding the bias spring bracket. And the micro switch comes along with it. Next we can remove the bias spring pivot bracket. There are two screws holding this bracket in place. And this can be removed as well. Next we'll strip about a quarter inch of wire on both of the wires that went to the trip switch. Now we'll need to note which one is tied to ground and which one is tied to the trip solenoid. Now one thing I should mention that a common mistake that we've seen in a lot of jukeboxes is previous repairmen have tied the ground wire to the audio ground which is incorrect um, right here in the shield of the audio ground. That is not correct. So if your machine makes a popping sound when uh, rejecting the records, take a look at that while you're in there because there's a chance that this wire, somebody may have incorrectly tied it onto the ground shield of the audio instead of the lug on the mechanism. So something to check as you're working on this. Next we'll connect the wires to the new electronic trip switch. The ground wire goes onto the ground terminal. and the trip wire goes onto the trip terminal.
Next we have installed the screws and spacers and we will swing the bracket around into place and these screw into the locations that the micro switch previously mounted to. Next we have just one wire to connect on, this, on the terminal block. This is the power supply wire. On pin bank models, this connects to the second terminal from the top. On Tormat models, it connects to the second terminal from the bottom. Okay, so now let's show you how the new electronic switch works. We'll start by switching the switch to the test position. This helps you get the exact cutoff point determined without having to keep reselecting songs over and over again. So we move the switch to the test position and we'll go ahead and make a selection. So you'll see the way this works, uh, our electronic switch, the original aluminum bracket that used to hold the uh, bias spring return arm enters the window here of our photo interrupter. So as the tone arm makes its way to the end of the record, you'll see that arm starts to enter the window. And with the switch in the test position, when it reaches the end of the record, there's the end of the record, it's about to go into the lead out groove right there. You'll see the light comes on, but it doesn't actually trip at this point. So you can easily use an Allen wrench to loosen the adjusting screw and get the cutoff position exactly where it needs to be. Once you've got it set, switch, flip the switch to run and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's hit J1, the next selection. There we are. We'll go to the end of the record. We're in the lead out groove, just like that. Perfect cancel every time. And that's all there is to it. Uh, anybody who's ever had to adjust a bias spring uh, knows just how tough it is to get that balance right and uh, adding the new lighter tracking needles in only makes it even more complicated. So our new electronic trip switches solve that problem uh, as well as uh, making the machine uh, much more consistent every time. And like a lot of our products, if you're in the repair or restoration business, this is one more thing that can make you confident that you won't get a call back from the customer after you send that machine down the road. Thanks everybody for watching.